Hello friends, it's Laurel here and I uh, have a little bit of a different type of video for you today. Um, I get a lot of questions as to what my other hobbies are and some of it is antiquing or picking and I thought I would share with you some things that I found on a recent trip to Pennsylvania and uh, explain what I paid for it and um, what it is. So the first thing that you're looking at, this is a toll painted tray. This is something that I collect. Um, this one is pretty rare because normally they're just flowers and I have some other examples um, of just flowers. And this one was a wall pocket. Some people put flowers in them or displays and whatnot. Um, this one's got some some wear on it. You can see on the birds, but as you step back from it It's uh, pretty cool. I paid about Six dollars for this one after all the sale prices and whatnot, but it is hand done Let's Try and get it close so you can see probably about 1960 ish 62 ish so that'll become part of my collection. We're looking at my craft desk. Here's another one. This one's pretty big. Um, pretty standard size for a tray. Um, they're all metal trays, pretty much, in the black. And they had the gold leafing on the sides. This one is uh, pink flowers. Try and get some there you go pink and blue I have a lot in this style this one was six dollars and 25 cents because it was on sale these were done in my area I find them either from fine art studio in Philadelphia or um, different studios in uh, New York and the, like the trays were mass produced, but all the painting was hand done. That one's got some good color and it's a decent size. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. This one I'll tell you. This one actually has a really good label. So that's Fine Art Studio, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and they it was hand painted. Uh, I'm going to date this one probably later 60s. So that was a good little find. This one was... Oh, this one was a rare find. Um, sometimes this, the, the trays do have this rickrack. I especially like that. I'm going to try and get as far away from it as I can. Um... This one is rare because it's all white flowers. And it was marked $12, so I paid under $10 for it. Um, has the curved cutouts for the handholds. The white and green flowers, they're all hand done. That one's really pretty. Um, the marks up top there where the, the paint is removed from the tray backing don't bother me at all. I mean, you have to remember that you're looking at something that's over 50 years old. This one's pretty heavy. And then the last tray, well, actually there's one more. It's in the other room. This is the most vibrantly painted one that I found on this trip. I paid about 7 or $8 for it. And has the rickrack curved hand holds and then that is the hand painting which is really lovely really well done in the toll style and I don't know if we have a label on this one or not no label no label so excuse me just a second um, I'll show you the needle craft, the needle work that I also found. This is a cruel piece. 
Um, not very big, but really well done in the yarn. I paid about six dollars for it. Um, I just liked the nature of it. The vibrant colors seemed unusual. Actually, I think I paid about three bucks for it. So that's another find. This one's going to be hard to fit in the camera, but it says, Reap rich harvest that love has sown. I'm going to try and get back from it. If I can. There it is. There's the whole piece. That's counted cross stitch. Um, got a little bit of soiling on the bottom, but um, it's pretty old from what I can, can tell. Um, I'm probably going to clean it up and put it in the kitchen. I paid $7. And that's just a crime to me. You know, someone put so much work and love into this, and I feel like I'm rescuing them all the time for $7. That's a good one. And then, probably one of my favorite finds from this trip. Look at that. It's pretty much amazing. Um, that's just a straight embroidered piece um, of violets. And it's got a green mat and it is framed. Um, I couldn't tell if it was labeled $75 or $15, and I lucked out, and it was $15. And then I got 20% off of that, so I paid $12 for this masterpiece. Um, completely worth it. I mean, just look at the detail in that. So that was my finds from this past uh, Saturday a week ago. On a trip to Pennsylvania, um, these are the types of things that I routinely look for. Those toll type uh, trays of all kinds. So I will enjoy hanging them in my home. Um, if you have any questions about toll trays or any of my finds, please leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone.